So we are live now. Okay. In the group. So yep. we'll just wait a few maybe seconds to see who comes on board, who joins us for I more than enough. Yes. Okay. Okay, we've got one person. If you'd like to give StreamYard permission to see your name, please do that. Click on the link above. So we've got three people on. Thank you for viewing. Please click on StreamYard on the link above to give StreamYard permission so we can see your comments. So we've got more people coming on. We're just waiting. And then we'll make a start. Okay. Okay, so, so let's welcome our fellow sister in our wonderful community of women who thrive in business and life, KG Moses, also known as Antonia as well. Some of you may know her. And KG is a counselor who also runs her own charity, Balm in Vineyard. So we'll find out more about that a bit later on. Most of you will be already with um, KG's um, motivational post and inspirational talk in the group. And today we'll be talking about I am more than enough. Okay, so before we start, I know I've given a brief introduction, but what I'd like to know is who is KG Moses? What does she stand for? Right, so I'm Antonia KG Moses, and I recently just qualified as a grief counsellor. I'm also a self-development coach. Um, I work with women who have experienced pregnancy loss. That's the coaching arm of what I do, and I support them through their grieving process. And it's because I you know, had a similar experience. So I have mm. kind of a, I can empathize as well, understand, you know, the different stages of griefing and support them as best as I could. I'm also the founder of um, an online platform is in a form of a blog, but I post a lot of my motivational um, and thought provoking post on my website um, and the um, platform is every step counts mm -hmm. because I believe in our journey and you know in terms of trying to uh, understand who we are and trying to work um, on on this life journey it's every lead every step at a the time there's no you know you know it's, it says that the race is not for the swift but those who were able to endure to the end. So it's every step mm -hmm. and, the, and the experience that you go through that pushes you closer to where you need to be. So it's a personal um, development um, platform mm -hmm. and it's focused on self-awareness and self-understanding. And it's, it helps individuals to become more authentic and present uh, and present by giving mm. them tools and resources to increase their self-awareness and under self-understanding. In addition to that, I do also have my charity, which is Barming Gilead Charity, um, which is a charity um, to support mental and emotional wellness. So we provide a space for people to um, have someone to speak to if they're going through, you know, issues, personal issues, unhe unhealthy behavioral pat pattern, um, stress, worry, you know, and so we have people um, available to be able to speak to them and give them, support them in their journey. Yes. Um, my, my core values, um, it's the acronym is CASTLE. And the reason why I've chosen this core value is because that I, I, I um, approach everything I do based on these strong values. And this mm -hmm. first is compassion, um, authenticity, 
service, trust, mm -hmm. leadership, empathy, um, slash excellence. So these things are very important to me and I always try to bring this, include this in everything that I do. That's brilliant. Yeah. So you are a woman who is doing so many things. You've got so many hats at the moment and a very successful woman at that. Yes. So I congratulate you. Thank you. On all your endeavors and efforts. So please let us um, know your links later on. Please share your links to Barman Gideon and every uh, step counts. What about the other one that you had, the global um, sorority? Yes, yeah, so, yeah, so global sororities is an extension. Yes. Um, it's part of like a, it's, uh, part of the Barman Gilead charity. So right. it's it's an extension of other projects that we're doing. Mm -hmm. And so Global Sororities, at the moment it's online um, where women, you know, can talk about the experiences of motherhood, the ups, the downs, the challenges mm -hmm. that they've gone through. And just to show every woman out there who is a mom that, you know, there is no one path to, you know, becoming the mother, the yeah. being, you know, or sell it or or not celebrating your your celebrating yourself because you think you know I I am not doing you know I I'm not meeting up to a certain standard. Just to let you yeah. know that every one of us goes through the same thing. Yeah. Some days you 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 don't want to do it. The next day is like oh wow this is the best thing on earth. So just to provide that kind of online platform, eventually we would begin to. Um, um, have like online events mm -hmm. um, because of the um, restriction we can't actually meet at the moment so we'll be having online events and maybe webinars where women can kind of meet together and mm -hmm. and and share so we I will share the links afterwards we're also on Clubhouse now so yeah I don't know who's on Clubhouse I know that's the new rave at the moment mm -hmm. um, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not on Clubhouse at the moment. I've got to get an iPhone, actually. I have an iPad, but it's a bit broken, so I'm trying to fix it. So hopefully I'll get there. Yeah. So um, you've trained as a counsellor recently. And I know you've mentioned a bit about your training. Mm -hmm. Tell us a bit more about that and how that um, ties in with your work with the charity and global services or everything that comes? Yeah, so, you know, counselling is, you know, from a very young age. Counselling, mm -hmm. you know, people will say to me, you know, you listen very well, mm -hmm. you know, I can talk to you, you're very empath empathetic, mm -hmm. and things like that. And I just thought, okay, yeah, that's just the natural part of who I am. Mm -hmm. um, but at the, I, I, I know that this is not just a profession, this is a calling for me. But for many years, I just put it to one side. Why? Because I was chasing something that I thought I needed to do. I yes. wanted something grander, you know, because counseling is not exactly, you know, on the top list of a banker or, the, you know, <laughs> a city lawyer or, you know, those, those professional, your medical doctor, is it? Yeah. But they, you know, and therefore, I did the value I placed on the actual profession wasn't yes. wasn't that you know of high value, and so I kind of put it aside. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. And I've made many attempts in in uh, um, along the way where I started and then just didn't commit to it. And the more I left it behind and I tried to pursue other things, the more I realized that you know I was kind of wasting my time it's like the children of israel if you know that reference yeah. where you know a journey was supposed to take a certain amount of years and they went round and round in a circle and then eventually you know they had to kind of submit to what the will of god is yeah, and so that's yeah. what happened you know i had to mm. kind of submit to the will of god and then just you know god made a way you know there yeah. were many obstacles along the way but he made a way for me to yeah. to, to in doing this pandemic yeah. um, to be a lot more focused and then and do that so that I can actually use the tools and the um, the knowledge that I gained from the training in the different um, um, 
projects and the different things that I'm doing in terms yeah. of working with women that have gone through pregnancy loss, in terms of working with people, in terms of their mindset, their self-awareness, their self-development, and also in terms of working with um the you know within the charity itself so yeah. that you know is a come full circle you know mm-hmm. and what i've learned along the journey is this that the journey to um you know understanding yourself and you know coming to that place where you know um you're you're actually okay in being yourself it's actually a process yeah, you know, yeah. I'm in my forties, right, and I'm just getting there now. So it's never too late, you know. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's just an encouragement to anyone out there who have got dreams and aspirations that they want to, you know, pursue, and things that they want to do. That it's never too late. Age is not a limit. Like I was having a conversation with a friend of mine, and and I said that you know the race is against time. It's not against anybody else but time. So what time are you what what time have you been allocated here on earth from the time you're born and the time that you leave? We we don't actually know the the time that we would the clock will end. We none of us know that. Yeah. So that in within that space of time, what are you doing? Are you being intentional about the decisions that you make? And you know, so it's just to be a lot more focused and being being you know a lot and, and leaning more on wisdom and intuition you yes. know to, to lead us in in our decisions you know and I think if I had done that earlier on in my life which I did to a certain degree but then I kind of lost balance lost my you know lost my way a little bit um I, I think I would have maybe got to a to this position earlier but in saying that i think everything works for a reason i think it it was meant to be this way and so yeah just an encouragement to someone else out there yes fantastic i do love that you know being intentional about your journey and it's never too late it doesn't matter what age you've started there's always something to be done you know in, in terms of helping others and it seems that you've got that you're right on point with that at the moment Yes. Um, where you've got to that point where you know what you stand for, who you are, and what your journey is about, where you're going, and how you're helping others in the process. So that's fantastic. So we've got some people watching um, Rashida Ryan, Heine, Elder, and Claire Marshall. Thank you for watching. Um, please make a comment if you'd like to comment or ask a question. Um, we're more than happy to answer okay so let's see so our topic today i am more than enough yes what does that represent um tell us about that what does it embody i am more than enough yes so i was re out previously i was reading a book and i i I posted this yesterday it was more like an affirmation but within the book is called the book is or the greatest, I don't know if you can see it, but it's called the greatest salesman in the world. And it's about, you can change your life with a priceless wisdom, right? And it has different, different, um, you know, kind of uh, wisdom nugget on yes. how to live the life that you want to be. And, and there was a page on there that I posted on my Instagram and I'm just going to read it because that will, yes. help, you know, and, and, and it says, I am nature's greatest miracle since mm. the beginning of time. Never has there been another with my mind, my heart, my eyes, my ears, my hands, my hair, my mouth, none that came before none that leave today and none that will come tomorrow can walk and talk and move and think exactly like me. All men are my brothers, yet yes. I am different from them. I am a unique creature. I am a unique creature of nature. I am rare and there is value in all rarity. Therefore, I am valuable. I am the end product of thousands of years of evolution. Therefore, I am better equipped in both mind and body and all the emperors and wise men who preceded me. I am not on this earth by chance. I am here for a purpose. And that purpose is to grow into a mountain and not to shrink to a grain of sand. 
And I, I'll stop there because I think wow. that I am here to grow into a mountain, not to shrink. Yes. You know, and, and, and the whole concept of, you know, am I, am I enough? You know, the yeah. question is not actually, am I enough? The question is about, am I, is my value? It's about value, isn't it? It's yes. about, am I valuable enough? That's the question we're asking. And then when we ask that question, it's a little bit problematic if we actually look at it because it reveals our understanding of value and what is valuable. So in terms of, you know, in terms of how we value things in the world, there's a metric that people use to value things. So they might say, oh, you know, that house is is valued at, I don't know, 180,000. And this is the reason why this is the area that it is, it is. It's been there for years, blah, blah, blah. There's an extension. There's many, many different um, uh, metrics that is used to, to value the worth of the house. And I think sometimes we, we tend to take that into valuing who we are, which is a yeah. totally different, totally different things totally different things and we confuse the both both things and so you know you know when we look at the definition of value it says the regard that something is held to de to deserve the importance sorry <laughs> the importance worth or usefulness of yes. something right and so you know when we talk about value we talk about it in terms of is an exchange isn't it is mm. I am exchanging who I am. There's a, is a there's a transaction. This is my worth, and therefore I'm giving you this worth. Do you think I'm worthy? You know, and so the the onus of you know trying to um, define our worth is then placed on the yeah. other person. So the person mm. doesn't speak you're worthy, then you feel I'm not worthy. It's it's like being in a relationship where you're always trying to you know. Am I worthy? Am I worthy? Am I worthy? Am I worthy to this other person? And they're like, nah, you need to be, you need to be, you need to be thinner. Um, you need to be, you need to be taller. You need to have straight long hair. You need to have blue eyes. And then give you all these reasons why you're not worthy. And that's yeah. because our concept of being worthy or valuable as a human being is totally different from the way God sees it. Because I'm yeah. looking at it from that standpoint. You know, we we measure our personal success, our net worth, our relationship, our life experiences. We use all this to try and de determine how important we are. You know, some people will even walk into a room when they think certain um, caliber of people are in there because they say, mm -hmm. I, I don't think I've been into this space. Yes, you yeah. do. Yeah. Walk in. Absolutely. You know, and so, you know, um, sorry. Yes, and so so looking at it, I'm going to go to the next one. So, you know, and, and so the way I look at it is you are a soul. Yes, we're physical. Yes, this is my part of my DNA, my biological makeup. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I am a soul and my soul is complete. So if we look at it as we're not broken, because we look at it as if we, we come here broken, Mm. And then we need to be fixed. We're not broken. We're here complete, but we yes. need to go through certain experiences and certain things in order to grow. We're here yes. to grow. It's a journey of growth, mm. right? So if you look at it that way, and you stand from you stand you start from that point, you know, um, from that point of growth, then you begin to see that. Um, I don't need somebody else to come and fix me. I don't need this to come and fix me. I am actually um, complete in who God has created me to be because he yeah. says that, you know, from the beginning that God says, you, you know, you know, God talks about you being fearfully and wonderfully made, right? He has yeah. he's made you. He says, let us make man in our own image and likeness. He has created you, you know, with everything that you need inside of you. Yes, you will make mistakes. And yes, you would learn from those mistakes and those trials and tribulations and you will grow. But what has happened is that, you know, sometimes the experiences we've had as children, you know, where, where we don't have that, our parents or the people around us 
or the people we come in contact with don't have that understanding. So yeah. they will tend to give us messages of, you know, you need to, you know, you're not getting A's, so you know, you're not worthy enough, or mm. you know, or or you're, or you're not, um, your hair's not long enough, or mm. you're not slim enough, and those, or you're stupid, yeah. you know, you know, you mm. talk too much, so that you know those kind of subtle messages that is now now in our subconscious mind that is programmed in our subconscious mind that mm. in order for us to to be valuable we need all these add-ons on top you know when you when you purchase an app on apple you know you purchase it one app the app and then it tells you about add-ons then you go into yeah. the app usually it was free then the way you start going into it is you say okay you need to add something else into it to be able yeah. to get to the next level and that next thing is two pound 99 or or you know x y and z then what you thought was free is actually costing you a lot more you mm. know and so sometimes it it, it it happens like that we get lost in the in the mix in the mix of our life, in the mix mixture of our life challenges, yes. all the things you know is like everything is is mixed together, and we get lost in it. And because we get lost in it, the the actual what God is trying to show us about ourselves sometimes we don't see it. Mm. That's true. That's very true. And I really do love that you know when you quote from from the salesman that book. Yeah. That's really good because it tells you so much that, yes, you're more than enough. You're beautifully and wonderfully made, you know. So I think that it really speaks volumes. And I'd love if you can share that book as well. Okay. Um, I'll, put it the, I'll come in and put it in the... In the, in the yes, that'd be great. Let, maybe you can put a picture of it, maybe take a screenshot of it for our viewers. Yeah, and that, yeah, that would really help someone as well. Yeah, I'll definitely do that, you know, and I was yeah. thinking about, you know, one, the, one of the most successful and famous artists in the world, which is Leonardo da Vinci, and yeah. he's famous for the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper, and I was mm. thinking about, you know, one of his paintings in 2017, which was of Christ, you know, the Christ, um, sold for 150 million. Wow, you know, and you know, uh, but over the years now, let's 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 unpack this. This mm -hmm. individual has this talent which God has given to him, yeah. so he's expressed it, you know, this talent freely. And over the years, the value of whatever he has, you know, done has gone up. Mm. You know, over the years, it's passed through yeah. different buyers, and the value has mm -hmm. gone up. Yeah. Now, yeah. let me, Antonia. Maybe I have a similar talent, and I then I I pay something which is similar, you know. Um, maybe I'm as good, you know. And they try to auction that. I will not probably not get the same amount of money, people bidding for it because mm -hmm. number one, they don't really know me. They're not used to me. They're like, okay, this new this new artist is you know on the scene, but we don't really know her. Her work might be good, but we don't know mm -hmm. who she is, so we cannot say that we are able to place a certain value on her work right yeah. even though that's the case the value of that product is based on the person the creator of that product mm. because the value is attached to leonardo da vinci that means whenever they hear his name and they, whenever they see his signature whenever they see that this is an authentic painting there is a level, there's an expectation that the value mm. of the work, you know, has to be mm. a certain standard. It's the yes. same thing. The value of who we are and our value is actually attached to our creator. Mm. Not attached to anything else, but our creator. Yes. Who has now created us, the all-powerful, all-knowing, all-present. Yes. His yes. infinite power has created us to be this beautiful being we're different in many many ways from each other we all have our strengths and weaknesses and we have you know different things that define us um, um separate separate us from make us different from one another yes yes but the 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 the, the um the the, the uh 
it doesn't take away the fact that we are all created by God. So our value is actually who, who God says we are. So our yes. value never changes mm. because God never changes. Mm. You know, our value is the same. But what happens is that if we measure our value by the external things that we have, that's where the issue comes in. That's where mm. the confusion comes in. That's yeah. where we feel like we're not worthy enough. We're, we're actually you're worthy. But in yeah. getting to that place and having that understanding, it's actually, um, it's not easy. And I'm not mm. going to sit there because I'm saying, I'm saying all these things and it sounds all good and fantastic. But some of us have gone through experiences that has really damaged and actually blurred our, our uh, perception, uh, blurred our vision as not allowing us to see ourselves clearly mm. as the big God's yeah. So, you know, when you're, you know, when you're going through that experience, which I have been through myself, you know, I was one of a, 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 a child who had, you know, uh, 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 had a, an experience of feeling rejected. You know, mm. I felt like I wasn't good enough. I felt rejected, like I, you know, rejected and, you know, and before you want to reject me, I'll, I'll reject you first, that kind of mentality. Yeah. And yeah. I, I for, for a very a long time, I, 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 I played that character, you yeah. know, and I, I allowed that messaging to filter through different aspects of my life. And what happened is that the result I was getting wasn't serving me, you know, mm -hmm. it, I, wasn't, I was not happy. You know, yeah. and I wasn't, I, you know, I wasn't being fulfilled. But what changed that that messaging? What changed that messaging is number one, I wanted it to change, and yeah. I sought things that would help me that to give me the tools to be able to change. So I would listen to, um, you know, people that that um, you know, people that that spoke about healing, you know, healing of the mind, healing, you mm -hmm. know, how to think of patterns how to change how you think so i would listen to those things i would you know watch videos that you know would help me to get the tools that i needed to have and also at the time i was under a ministry where yeah. you know the pastors were very you know they were very good in that in that sense so yeah. you know in terms of personal development personal data spiritual growth they were very into those things and they helped me to be able to um, get to a place where now I I understand, you know, the root of why I felt the way I felt. And now yeah. that I understand the root, I was beginning to see, um, have the tools to be able to navigate myself and eventually having that root pulled out. Now, when the root is pulled out, there needs to be something else replacing it. It cannot be left away. Mm -hmm. So now yeah. what do I replace it with? I replace it with things that serve me. You know, mm. number one, one of the things is coming from a place of love. Do everything in love. Yes. Be rooted in love. Mm. Because that is that is key to the breakthrough. Be rooted in love. Knowing that everything that happened to you is not you. Mm. It's happened to you but it's not you. Yes. Right. And understand that everything that happened to you is here to help you grow. Yes. So what is the what, what is the lesson in my trials and my, my tri tribulation? Mm -hmm. What is the lesson in this? What do I need to learn from me to grow? Yes. And even if I'm not if, if I'm not at that place where I want to see the lesson. Am I open? Would I consider being vulnerable enough and be open enough to go through the healing process? Am I willing to do that? Yes. Those are the important questions we've got to ask ourselves yes. to be able to move to the next level. Mm -hmm. Ask ask so that question, then our worthiness and who, our worthy we are will be based on our experiences and we'll beat each other, we'll beat ourselves down. Mm. We'll beat ourselves, we'll be we, we, we would just um how, how can I say sell ourselves short. Mm. Engage in interactions and relationships that doesn't serve us. Um 
be in circles of friendships that doesn't reflect that. Yeah. You know, mm. you know be, allow us to be, allow ourselves to be treated and mistreated mm. over and over again. Because it's like somebody who cuts themselves or had a cut, and then instead of allowing to heal, they keep pinning it in the scab. Yes. They just keep yeah. pinning it over and over and over and over again, and not allowing themselves to heal. So it 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 is going to take work. Understanding your self worth and I am more than enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it sounds good, but to get to the place where you actually totally believe it mm. takes work it's a journey some yeah, of us absolutely. get there quicker while it takes is longer for others to get there mm. it absolutely is a journey and you mentioned vulnerable but being vulnerable in that space as well for some women struggle when even to say the affirmation, I am more than enough, when it comes to their vulnerability, it's hard to really show that and to, to others, make themselves vulnerable and able to, and in order to in order to grow. And that happens sometimes. Yes, yeah, say that again. Yeah, being vulnerable sometimes mm-hmm. it's difficult when You've got that affirmation, I'm more than enough, but you're fighting that vulnerable, you know, that vulnerability within you, being vulnerable to others. And as women in life and business, sometimes we hide our vulnerabilities instead of seeking help and growing from that to become, you know, actually say, I am more than enough, because you have to grow from that vulnerability. Yes. Does that make I, sense? Yeah, that makes sense. And I think sometimes people mask it up. Yes, that's it. So I'm a CEO of a company. Yes, I know my worth. Mm. You know, I am, you know, I've got this, I've got that. All you have to do is just turn on social media. You see it. People mask it up. They they mask it up. They don't want to show their vulnerability. They don't want to Mm. look weak. So what they do is they then begin to use their, their titles and positions as a way of uh, determining what worth they, they have. But when you really yeah. deep, deep and really look deep inside, you mm-hmm. really see that, that it's probably somebody who's struggling with a lot of things, mm-hmm. but they're not open. Oh, to and the thing about it is this, what is more important to me as an individual is growing and becoming the mm-hmm. best person that I need to be. I think mm-hmm. that for me is very important than anything else, than all the titles mm-hmm. and everything else. I don't want to live with people. Now, you've got to be honest and be real with yourself. Yes. When the door closes and it's just you on your own, how do you feel? Yes. Mm-hmm. When everybody else is not there and, you know, the networking um, uh, um, meetings, how do you really feel? Mm. Are, you, are you happy within yourself? Mm. Are you content are you fulfilled Mm. if everything was taken away from you in terms of all the material things and all the Mm. things used as a way to measure your your worth would you be found full empty yes Mm. now when when you when you when you come to that place and that place it's not an easy place to come to. Sometimes it, it takes a level of humility. Yes. And it takes a level of surrendering. When you come to that place and you're open to go through this, that journey, it enriches your life. Mm. You're not just living. You're not just uh, pretending to be something that you're not. You mm. will flourish and you will thrive. That's it, exactly. I'm not saying that your bank account is going to be one point something million. Now, let's not get mm-hmm. it. Let's not get it twisted. This is not about money, monetary value, mm-hmm. right? We're talking about you as an individual, and where you where where you want to be in your in your life. And so, yes, vulnerability to me is 
is is actually strength because mm-hmm. it talks about in your weakness yes and there's a scripture that talks about in your weakness in in our weakness god is made strong he's he we when our weakness what we do is we said you know what you know me more than i know myself yes right? mm-hmm. therefore i am trusting you right now with everything and i'm just doing this my hands are out like this you know when you go like this yeah. your hands just lift you know when you say lift your hands up or just open your arms and say you know i am i this is this is me here i am you know me anyway but what i am doing is i am i am giving you the permission to come in or to help me to now get to where i need to get to yes so and that and and sometimes he will bring people along the way yes as a way to help us to get through it so it could be a coach it could be a counselor it mm-hmm. could be a therapist, it could be a friend yes. it could be a family member it could be whoever he would bring along now i we then we need to be open to those people as well and be vulnerable to those people as well yeah mm-hmm. and then you know and then that's another maybe another hurdle or another step in which another thing that we need to think about to be able to to do so you're not you're not it's not that you are you're broken in terms of there's when i think of brokenness i think of you know that you you know when you were created you were complete when you were created you were complete but the aspect of your growth would require you to go through some life challenges yes and and so which which when you understand that then you you, you when you see now when i go through things i don't look at it as in i why me why is this happening to me what i say is what i what is this coming to teach me yes what I, what is this what is the lesson here and and let me pay attention mm. because when you pay attention it helps you to be able to navigate your way a lot yes. more easier and you kind of lean on wisdom to kind of help you through mm. but when you're mm. when you're fighting it and you're not allowing yourself to see the lessons it it feels like you're being down like oh, i can't this is and it just goes into a stressful moment yeah worry moment i've been mm-hmm. through that even saying this i've been through times when i'm worried and i'm not sleeping and i'm like oh gosh what how is this going to happen and what is this going to you know how are we going to do it and because i'm a doer so i, I try to fix situation that i have yeah. the business fixing and then it ends up in a totally different mess and then now i have to go back again and say what should i have done <laughs> yes and then follow the steps in the way and follow the steps in according to the way it was meant to be followed yes, yes. yeah that's fantastic and you know great that you can put your story into that as well mm-hmm. and you've been vulnerable on this um in the space as well even on your social media is about the things that you've been through mm. that allowed for your growth as well as a and to where yeah. you are now yes. which is you know which is really helpful and impactful to other women so yeah so being vulnerable i see it as leading to that authenticity as well yes because it's your true form your true self not being afraid to say this is me this is who i am and yes. yet i'm more than enough yes i yeah i'm i'm more than enough and who who's best to tell my story than me you know? exactly i will tell it how it's meant to be told yes you know, yeah. i'm not waiting for you to tell my story i'm telling it now yes. you know and and so coming and 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 it to be quite honest with you it took me a very long time i yeah. would i i'm not one of those i don't really talk about my personal business that much you mm. know uh, i wouldn't you know be 
actually having this conversation that I'm having with you on social media is like, why am I having this conversation? But yeah. you know, the thing about it is my purpose is bigger than whatever I've gone through. And mm. I know what God is using my life to do and what he's telling me that I need to do. So part of it is like, there is there will be one person out there or two or three that would hear what I have to say and yeah. listen to my experience and it would give them their strength because I got some of my strength through listening to other people and their experiences and what they've been through and their vulnerability and their openness and I've learned from that and it's helped me to grow so I'm offering that you know, he talks about the talent, the the um, parable of the talent. Mm. You know, the, of the talent where you know the you know the each servant was given, each person rather was given, you know, a talent, and some people went out there and multiplied it, while others mm. just one person just sat on it. Yeah, you know, I yeah. don't want to be the one person that sat on it. You mm. know, I want to be one of that one that person that goes out and multiply. Yes. I multiply, multiply, multiply. So that's basically where I'm at. I'm in the I'm in the space, and I'm in the in the space of multiplying. And yes. so, you know, that's one of the motivate. That's one of the things that motivates me. My purpose. Why I'm here. What am I doing? And my race is against time. It's not against anybody else. I'm here to do what I need to do. Let me do it. So when I'm done and it's time for me to go i'm dying empty i've emptied everything out yes and yeah and you've left a legacy yes <laughs> yes yes and yeah and and so even my whole situation of when i shared you know the whole um thing with you know my daughter maya when she passed on yes. you know for me, it was it was a it was a a, a, a breakthrough for me because it's yeah. something that I really never thought I would have spoken about. Mm. But I, in something about it, I I was liberated uh, because I know that you know since then I've had people phone me who've gone through the same experience, yeah. and I've been able to kind of counsel them and I've been able to support them in their journey. Mm. And so see the wisdom. In, in in that that kind of push and the courage that God that had, had given to me to be able to speak and talk about it. Yes. Brilliant. So we've spoken so much about vulnerability, authenticity and um, your journey, a part of your story and that some of our viewers would already know about which your daughter as well. And the impact you are making and continue to make with others, helping others through their journey as well. What advice would you give to the women in our community in terms of growth in their life, in their business, with the affirmation, I am more than enough? What advice would I give for them? Yeah. Yeah. Eh? yeah. One, yes. you know, there's a there's something that stood out to me. It says that you may prosper just as your soul prospers, mm. and you know, so there's a correlation between you prospering in different aspects of your life and your soul mm. prospering. That's the reason why I focus on helping people to reflect inward first. Yes, for the outward. So we've got to get the our inside right. Yes. So in getting our inside right, we've got to invest more on, you know, our inside self-reflecting. Mm -hmm. Getting to know you. Giving yourself the space to grow internally. Mm -hmm. And if there are aspects of your life that you've identified that you need help with, get the help. Yes. Don't just sweep it under the carpet, hoping that, you know, I can fake it till I make it. Get the help mm. and get it right. When your soul prospers, everything else will prosper.
prosper because it will be mm. like a ripple effect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It will begin to affect your business, it will begin to affect your personal life and the way you interact and your relationship around you. Mm -hmm. So whatever you struggle with, it could be low self-esteem, it could be feelings of rejection, it could be, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not worthy. Whatever whatever you've been telling yourself, and whatever you, you've gone through for so many years and it's becoming like a repeated record, just playing or playing in the background, you, yeah. you have to come forth and number one, be honest about it. Acknowledge it. And then mm. be intentional about it and say, yeah. hey, I am going to get help for this. Mm. And then look for the help and be open enough to go through the process. Yes. And understand the process is not an easy process. There will be times when you think, I can't be bothered with this anymore. Mm. And there'll be times when you think, you know what? This is good for me. Mm. But it's the reason, the, the way you're going to get through it is the decision that you've made and you're committed to that decision. And knowing that every step counts. Every little step you take, the one step you take today, the two steps you, you take tomorrow, and on and on and on and on, and you'll begin to see the difference and the changes in, in your life. So what I would say is invest on growing inwardly, mm. getting to know yourself and even certain thought patterns that has, have not served you, so certain negative thought patterns mm. that you've kind of Accept, allow yourself to kind of engage in for many many years and has not served you be willing to allow yourself with the crew to, to to get the help to be able to kind of separate yourself from those things so yes. that you could thrive in other aspect of your life because thriving is different from you know okay my, my business is making you know 60 pounds 70 pounds you know, your product might mm -hmm. be good and you might make money. But thriving is a totally different thing because mm. it, thriving tends to look at the health, mm. the wholeness mm -hmm. of a thing in totality, not mm. just one aspect. So in order to thrive, you've got to look at you as a whole. Mm. Holistically. Yes, holistically. So you've got to look at start looking at yourself in a holistic way way and approach everything you do in that way mm. yes and and, and, say, and, and and just don't think okay what i need to do now is just business 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 um and then i'll i'll neglect everything else look mm. at yourself don't, don't don't neglect certain areas of your life mm. that needs your attention it yes. all needs attention you might you might uh, have to Approach it one by one, maybe not all at once, but then have a plan. Have a plan in place. Yes. This year, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, spend more time with myself. I'm gonna look after myself more. This year, I'm going to, you know, just based on your personal needs or personal desires or wants, um, you you can put a plan in place. Yes. Yeah. And like for myself, one of the things I said this year is I'm going to focus more on, you know, building relationships outside of, you know, my inner circle. So building relationships with um, people that in the same kind of field and in the, in, in the same things. And in order for me to be able to do that, I have to have that conversation with myself that... Yeah. When I'm invited to the table, am I going to show up? Mm. And why I be showing up? And the reason why I have not been showing up is because I just didn't think, you know, what I had to say was good enough. Mm. Do you understand? But yes. I yes. had to. I had to deal with that imposter syndrome. I had mm. to deal with that negative mindset. And in in in, a, in in facing it and saying let's let's look at this what is this all about? 
and in looking at that and praying about it and just meditating and just understanding it a lot better i was able to realize that you know actually no this doesn't serve me i don't want it anymore yes. and therefore you know i had my first you know i had you know i've been on your platform and i'm grateful that you've given me the opportunity to be on your platform and i've been on other you know like somebody invited me on the clubhouse and said can you come on stage and speak mm-hmm. and i was like all right let's do this so I went yes. on stage and I spoke and it was like, okay, you know, and so there's a, in being open and willing to, to receive, you know, to let go of it, of what I've held on to for many years. What had happened is that there's a new sense of boldness that I feel, I feel a lot bolder. Yes. I feel a lot more um, confident to be able to um, interact on that level, which is really good. Yes. And it sounds like you've really grown as a person. And again, coming back to your journey. Yes. And you said you have to go through stuff in life to get to where you are. Because as you said, you're right, we're made whole. But then life throws curveballs at us. And, you know, things, challenges come our way. And we're broken into pieces. But with that brokenness, we can go through that and come on the other end, you know, whole again. Mm. Having that wholeness, because we've, we've always been whole. It's life throws, you know, those things at us that causes us to have issues with ourselves, issues with other people. We have to grow on. As you say, we've got to do the inner work. And the inner work will yes. reflect to the outer. Yes. 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 The inner work, and as a counselor, that's what you will bring to the table with helping your clients to do that internal work, get where they yes. need to, to, to really see the wholeness of it. Yes. Because it is there, it is there, but it's for them to see it with new, fresh eyes. That indeed, yes, I've always been whole, but it's just life thrown at me from different angles yes. caused me to falter at different stages yes sir. fantastic and yes. you know i love your story and thank you so much for sharing and for giving you know insight into i am more than enough and helping our wonderful community with your message and i think it's admirable and you know really helpful you're a star in your own right and i love it Thank you for inviting Yes, so all the yes. definitely. And you know, please let us know how we can help with your charities and how we can get involved as well. You can probably do a separate post and that'd be lovely and share that book as well. I'd love to read that, the one about the salesman. That'd be lovely. Somebody saying, um, let's have a look. The comment. <clears throat> So somebody said, I really appreciate this talk with Antonia. Thank you very much. I can't see who said it. I'm looking on my phone to see. <clears throat> Let's have a look. Is that coming up? Yes, but yes, I'm sure. Yes, I really appreciate this talk with Antonia. And I know Rashida Ryan says a good day to all of us. So fantastic. Good day to you, Rashida. Yeah. So, there's some really appreciated people on here as well, and I'm sure the people who look back on this video are going to find some inspiration and some nuggets to take away. And as you said, there's always learnings to be had in everything, everything in life, and even on this video today. So, yeah, this has been fantastic. So, thank you so much, Antonia, for sharing. Antonia, thank you, Moses, for sharing. It's been an absolute pleasure having you on this um, phone today. So please feel free to share in a separate post your link how people can get in touch with you and to have a, um, a conversation for counseling because Antonia, she's really good at what she does. She'll help you to work with your inner person to help you to be able to 
grow and see your wholeness. It's always been there, but to see it again with new and fresh eyes. Somebody just written, I really appreciate this talk with your guest. You said quite a mouthful, very inspiring, therapeutic, and a good look for with Antonia. I wish I could see who, who's seeing this. Um, if you were to click on StreamYard, then we'd be able to see who it is. But thank you so much. I think it comes up. Oh, yeah, Stacey is saying, I really appreciate this talk with your guest. You said quite a multiple, very inspiring, therapeutic. Thank you, Stacey, for your wonderful comments. Thank you so much. Um, in closing, Antonia, any fi um, final things you'd like to say before we close? Final word of inspiration. You are beautiful, you are beautiful just the way you are. You might need to work on different aspects of, you know, certain areas of your life but you're beautiful you know yes. that if you look at yourself as the flower you is blossoming and is radiant and is and is black and and beautiful and 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 lovely and smells lovely that's you you know and always see yourself that way and and show up show yes show up in in that's different spaces me. as you're no yes, show up as your authentic self. You are more than enough. I am more than enough. And it's a great affirmation to say every day as well. I am more than enough. Look yourself in the mirror. I am more than enough. And that's what it will be. So it is said, so it shall be done. Oh my word, yes. Antonia, it's been an absolute pleasure. I really enjoyed, you know, having you as a guest here. Thank you so much for your inspiration to many women. Your story is admirable. Keep sharing, keep, you know, being the talent you are and sharing with all the women on all the different spaces because you are phenomenal. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. And thank you everyone for viewing. If you haven't, um, thank you. You know, please. Yes, please put hashtag um, replays. So some comments are coming in. Um, yes, I oh, Jillian Lincoln, that's really inspiring. Casey again says, I will definitely incorporate this affirmation daily. I am more than enough. Yes, Antonia, I feel like you need to do a separate post on this. I am more than enough, but please, <laughs> please feel free to use this forum. I think the woman. Yes. Has they're excited about it. Yeah. And reach out to Antonia if you need counseling, and it help you do that. Okay. Antonia, I love you loads. Oh, you're frozen. You. Yes. Okay. You're welcome. Bye bye. Oh, yeah. I've a little while. Yeah. 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 You're back again. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.